Hello, my name is Mr. Dix. I may be a bit unrecognizable today because I am dressed up as Captain Rainbow Unicorn Johnson. See, I'm dressed up in the costume of that, which is totally acceptable. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. Dressing up in a costume for Halloween this week. If you plan on dressing up as a character this week, you are more than welcome to do so at Rao Middle School. However, there are some guidelines that we need to follow. First off, Captain Rainbow Unicorn Johnson normally has a horse face. My costume would be a little better if I looked like this. However, you cannot wear masks to school. That's right. No masks at Rao Middle School on Thursday, Halloween, October 31st. You also cannot wear any face paint. So if you want to dress up as a cat, awesome. You can wear a cat tail, you can wear a cat costume, you can have cat ears. You may not draw cat whiskers on your face. This is a safety precaution and a safety measure. We need to be able to make sure that we can identify all students here so that we know that the students in the building are the students who are supposed to be in the building. So, no masks, no face paint. In addition to no face paint or masks, we are also asking that you leave the accessories at home. So if you are going as Hermione Granger or Ronald Weasley, that's awesome. You can dress up like a wizard or witch. We're gonna ask that you keep the wand at home. We don't want anybody casting any spells here. Plus the wands can become distractions. So we're gonna keep all accessories at home as well. Your costume also cannot be a distraction. If you are the cat in the hat and you have a hat that is eight feet tall, it is going to be hard for the people behind you to see the board and to participate in the day's academic lessons. So, your costume cannot be a distraction. If it is something that is deemed a distraction, you may be asked to change. Lastly, your costume needs to be school appropriate. I'm not gonna go into the details about what deems something inappropriate for school. You should already know those things. Just a recap, no face paint, no masks, no weapons, no accessories, no distracting costumes, and your costume has to be school appropriate. If your costume meets all of those guidelines, then you're allowed to wear it to school. So, for Halloween, make sure that you are following those guidelines with your costume.